Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, Iron Masks. The people of the ancient world had a bizarre fascination with iron masks. At an archaeological dig in the ancient city of Hadrianopolis, Greece, one such mask was recently discovered. The mask dates back 1,800 years and was likely used by a Roman soldier. It was part of a helmet that would have covered the soldier's entire face in iron, protecting him from getting an arrow through the face. The discovery, however, was found incomplete. Only a small piece of it, nothing but the nose, mouth, and small piece of cheek. But many other iron masks just like this one have been found throughout the ancient world. For example, the Cumanians also wore iron masks into battle as far back as the 13th century. The Cumanians were a confederacy of warriors that ruled a huge piece of Eurasia, about the size of Western Europe, from Hungary to the land of the Mongols. They called themselves the Wolf Khans, and many of their soldiers rode into battle with their faces covered in plates of iron. Their masks were decorated with facial features, nose, mouth, lips, and sometimes even a mustache. Even more interesting is that they were produced in the thousands. These iron masks were probably worn by soldiers, bandits, and mercenaries. But like so many other great civilizations, the wolf khans were wiped out by the Mongolians as they spread out of Eurasia and into Europe. Number 9. Sacrifice in Korea Archaeologists working in Jeonju, South Korea, have discovered the grisly remains of a woman who died during the construction of a great palace fortress. This was over 1,600 years ago, in the 4th century AD. The woman had almost certainly been a sacrifice during the Wulsong Palace's construction, and she wasn't the only one. Archaeologists have already found two other bodies in the complex, buried underneath the main wall of the rampart. According to researcher Jang Ji Myung, all three were found very close to the main entrance of the palace. This suggests they were put there to protect the front walls against enemy assault. Researchers also dug up the bones of many animals, all of which had likely been sacrificed as well. What's really interesting is that until these bodies were found, no other human sacrifices have ever been connected to the Silla people of ancient Korea. There have been stories found in historical records of sacrificial killings, but archaeologists largely believe them to be myths. Now, we know they were real. However, sacrifices were specifically reserved for construction projects. The only time someone was voluntarily murdered was when a building was going up, so that the project would succeed in the long term. The Silla people believed that by sacrificing a human being and burying them under the building's foundations, the building would be stronger. All three sacrifice victims were female, all of them seemingly lower class. But there is so much we just don't understand. Number 8. Ancient Python Ritual The oldest ritual ever practiced in the world has finally been discovered. A shocking archaeological find in Botswana shows that in Africa, a ritual practice was happening 70,000 years ago. To give some context, that's over 30,000 years earlier than any other ceremony practiced by humans. Even more, it proves that ritual activity didn't start in Europe as previously thought. It was Africa Africans who first performed religious ceremonies long before anyone else. Archaeologists from the University of Oslo made the discovery while doing research in a region of Botswana called Nagamiland. They were researching the origins of the ancient sand people when they found artifacts from the Stone Age in a group of hills. These hills are the only elevated place for hundreds of miles in any direction. To the ancient people, the hills would have been a place of great importance. Anything out of the ordinary always seemed to draw ancient people to it. The Tsodilo Hills, as they're called, are famous across the world for having the largest concentration of rock paintings anywhere. There are over 3,500 paintings, going back about 1,500 years. Local people call the hills the Mountains of the Gods. Researchers found evidence of a ritual happening in a small cave on the northern side of the hills. It's in a secluded place and difficult to access, not identified by archaeologists until the 1990s. The team of researchers discovered inside the cave a rock carved in the shape of a python. The python was considered the most sacred animal to the sand people. In their creation myth, it was from the great python that humans descended to the earth. It makes perfect sense that 70,000 years ago, they gathered inside a dark cave and practiced rituals before the effigy of their great snake god. Number 7. Halloween Skeleton On the Hill of Ward in Ireland, one of several places in the country considered to be the birthplace of Halloween, something ghoulish was found. During an excavation at the site in 2014, researchers found the skeleton of a baby. The skeleton dates back 3,000 years, to a time when the Hill of Ward was used in the Celtic celebration of Samhain. 
For those unfamiliar, Saon or Samhain was the original holiday now celebrated as Halloween, a Celtic festival that marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the darkest part of the year. Dr. Stephen Davis, the lead archaeologist on the project, says the child was probably not the victim of sacrifice. This might be a little surprising considering we're talking about the original Halloween. Davis also says we'll probably never know what the cause of death was. The infant's skeleton was found buried in the bedrock at the base of the ditch, along the outskirts of the festival grounds used in 1000 BC. But the skeleton is in such poor shape that it's impossible to say what exactly happened to it. Could the child have been part of the festivities, or was it just buried there by coincidence? We know the site was used by Celtic priests and ancient druids during sound for animal sacrifices to their pagan gods, but never has a person been found sacrificed, and certainly never an infant. What do you think? Unfortunate coincidence or something more sinister? Number 6. Neolithic Crimes A possible crime dating back thousands of years was identified at an archaeological site in Serbia. First found in 1931 by the Serbian archaeologist Miloje Vasic, the site revealed a pit filled with human skeletons. There were nine bodies found here, with initial thoughts being it was a collective burial. It wasn't until recently, when archaeologists took a new look at this old discovery, that they found it to be a Neolithic crime scene. We know the area was inhabited by an early Neolithic tribe of people known as the Starcevo culture around 6000 BC. We also know that when these people buried their dead, they did so respectfully. They put them on their side in a crouched position and covered them in dirt. But these skeletons had been tossed into the pit haphazardly and in a rather disrespectful manner. This suggests their deaths were violent and that nobody cared enough to bury them properly. Many of the bones were broken and showed signs of trauma. The conclusion, though extremely difficult to prove, is that these people were murdered, then dumped in a pit and buried to dispose of the evidence. What do you think happened? Let me know your theories in the comments. Number 5. Scythian Mummies The ancient Scythians buried their dead, at least their most important dead people, in megatombs hidden underneath burial mounds. Throughout the steppe region, which stretches from the northern borders of China all throughout Siberia, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, into the Black Sea, there are tens of thousands of these remarkable burial mounds. Throughout the years, all kinds of amazing artifacts have been excavated from mysterious Scythian tombs, but by far one of the most ghoulish discoveries came from high up in the Altai Mountains in southern Siberia. Archaeologists discovered proof of mummification. When they opened up an icy tomb, they found a corpse covered in tattoos. Whoever this person was, they had been very meticulously dissected. Their entrails were pulled out of them and replaced with straw. In the end, they were basically turned into scarecrows, with all their squishy parts taken out and filled in with stuffing. But it's even more gruesome than that. Even their brain matter had been taken out through small holes cut in the sides of their skulls. They somehow vacuumed out their brains and then stuffed straw into their heads. When they were finished, they sewed up all the cuts using animal tendons. Then they dressed their new scarecrow, put them in a coffin, and buried them deep in the ground. And now for number four. But first, want to give a big shout out to Marshmallow X Cream and Kitty F Grey Grey. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe for more scary discoveries. Number four, ancient massacre in Sweden. Evidence has been uncovered of an ancient massacre that took place in Sweden 1,500 years ago. Swedish archaeologists found the gruesome remains of people who had been slaughtered around the year 400 AD. They were still in the same positions as when they had died. One man was lying twisted over a fireplace in an ancient house with his bones burned. Researchers say there was probably a fire blazing when he was cut down. But this was only one body. There were 26 people in total who died from extreme violence on the small Swedish island of Åland. All the bones showed evidence of major brutality. Skulls separated from their bodies, signs of extreme beatings with a blunt weapon of some kind. One man had even been struck on the shoulder and hip and killed. Whatever happened here was pretty terrible. That's actually what archaeologists are trying to solve now. Frode Iverson from the University of Oslo's Museum of Cultural History is working to figure out what happened. This was Scandinavia hundreds of years before the Viking Age. It was a turbulent time with the Western Roman Empire in decline and the Huns terrorizing Europe, war, famine, and general misery. It's likely that whatever happened here was happening everywhere. It's just that the remains of the ring fort where these skeletons were found managed to survive this long for archaeologists to study them. The truth is that in the widespread chaos following the end of Rome, massacres in Europe were happening with startling frequency. Number 3. Evil Magic Wand 
In Syria, a magic wand was discovered near an ancient graveyard. Archaeologists say the wand had likely been used in spooky funeral rituals. Everything about this case is strange. First of all, the wand is believed to be 9,000 years old, and that's just the beginning. It was discovered in a graveyard containing the bodies of about 30 people. And when I say bodies, I mean that quite literally. Their heads were discovered in a different structure nearby that may have been a living space. Finally, the staff was carved with two human faces on it, as if that wasn't the creepiest thing ever. Even archaeologist Frank Bramer called it a very unusual and unique discovery. We know very little about this archaeological site called Tel Karasa. What we can say for sure is that some of the first farmers in the world lived here, that there was a settlement built a very long time ago, and that they practiced a lost religion. Excavations revealed the wand in 2007, with experts saying it was almost definitely used as part of a funeral ritual. But nobody knows why bodies were buried without their heads, or what kind of ritual was being practiced, or if the two were somehow connected. Number 2. Maya Dental Modification a new study involving teeth pulled from ancient Maya graves has revealed some rather strange practices. When researchers started looking at skulls recovered from the old Maya kingdom, they found 102 modified teeth. We've all heard of cranial modification, where people squish the heads of babies to make them look like aliens. But what you may not know is that the Maya also modified their teeth. These modifications were not like the ones we're used to today, like braces and crowns. They weren't for health reasons. Instead, the Maya filed their teeth to make them grooved or pointy, and often embedded things in them like jewels and stones. The 102 teeth used in the study came from a place called the Midnight Terror Cave, which is in Belize. There are over 10,000 skeletal pieces scattered throughout the cave. Researchers believe it was some kind of public ritual location where anyone could come and make a sacrifice. Because of this, there are plenty of teeth scattered across the cave floor. But even though researchers were able to document so many weird modifications, they still don't know why it was popular. Some people filed their teeth until they looked like monsters. Some people didn't do anything except put gems in them. It's all quite random. They may have done this for ritualistic purposes, maybe for intimidating their enemies, or even just to identify with a certain tribe. Why would you modify your teeth? Let me know in the comments below. Number 1. Buried Alive When archaeologists were investigating tombs of a wealthy clan in China from 3,000 years ago, they found something pretty awful. In the ancient city of Yinshu, what was once the capital of the Shang dynasty, warriors and horses were sacrificed. It was far from pleasant, with these people and animals being suffocated to death when they were buried alive. There are approximately 24 tombs in this ancient graveyard. The ruins go back to around 1600 BC, to the very first dynasty that ruled China. The tomb complex was found to have pits full of old war chariots, as well as the skeletal remains of horses that pulled them and the warriors who rode them. The warriors were wearing hats decorated with shells, and some of the horses had been decorated with gold veneer. It's believed the city was home to the most powerful clan of its day, the Sea Clan. Evidence shows that when the most powerful clan members died and were buried, a great funeral was held for them. To ensure they didn't go defenseless into the afterlife, warriors and horses were buried alongside them while still alive. These people were dressed up in their finest garb, decorated in gold, and then slowly suffocated. The warrior likely would have sat on the back of the horse while they were slowly being covered over in dirt. Thanks for watching. Which of these creepy discoveries chilled you the most? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe and come back soon. See you next time. Bye!